Hey guys, Charles and stuff here. Here's an old CPIC I found in the garbage. It's in absolutely horrible condition, and the performance on it is terrible because of massive amounts of mineral buildup. As you can see in the tank, the water was terrible, and the bottom of it's busted, so I can't get a really effective siphon anymore because all the water kind of guzzles out. I might try to block that a little bit to help aid in the siphon, but generally the siphon, the siphonic action is not really very good anymore because there's just not enough restriction in the trap design currently. Um, if I find that piece that broke off, I might be able to fix it, but I doubt I will, so this, this will end up back in the trash pile. might save the tank. Um, it's really gross, though, so I'm not 100% sure. If I can use it on the cadet, I probably will, but most likely I'm not. Also, the tank, I just noticed, is chipped, so I probably won't save it for the cadet because of that. Here's the bowl. see all the minerals in it. It hardly can flush a washcloth. That's how bad it is right now. Um, and how bad it'll stay, because I'm not keeping it, because I don't... It's broken. I can't fix it, so what's the point in keeping it? It's a very rare toilet. It's a Chicago Pottery uh, CP.co. There's only three of them on YouTube, as far as I know. First two are broken. Mine is broken, and this one's broken. And then the other one is on, the video's Artist Mac. He's replacing a ball cock, a brass one, in his toilet. And uh, the toilet actually had a really good flush in that video because there's no minerals in it. So, But this toilet will hardly flush a washcloth. I'll show you. It takes the whole tank to get it to siphon out. I'm really afraid because given the fact that this toilet has a broken base, it's really unstable and I'm afraid it's going to fall over if the bowl gets too filled with water. They try plunging it, see if I can get it close to them. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a great idea with an unstable base, right? Let me flush it again and see what happens. I really don't want to lose my hand in this toilet to retrieve that cloth. Yeah, but as you can see, that's a, that it won't even flush a freaking washcloth. I think I, I blame that mostly on the broken trap because without the restriction at the bottom, it doesn't really do very good with anything, honestly. If I can add a restriction, on it, it might do better. But currently, it's terrible. Let's see, when the tank fills up, I'll do another flush. The refill tube does not work. Uh, it's the, the, the fluid master so blocked up that the refill tube doesn't even work on it, so it's great. I'm judging by the look of this toilet, I doubt it was ever cleaned. Um, because if it was cleaned, there wouldn't be the, nearly this much buildup. Let's see what happens when I flush it again. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, I just had to flush it, yeah. Great toilet. I'm sure when this was new it was good, but I'm not going to clean it up, so I might do a dissection video. So keep your hands up. But obviously you saw how the, the flush is. I'll do a regular flush just to show you the flush in general. But generally the trapway is so restrictive and the bottom is so unrestrictive. The, long, the, the short leg is really restrictive and the long leg is not restrictive at all, so it doesn't really make an effective siphon anymore. The siphon is not very strong anymore because of that. If it had the extra piece, I might bother restoring it. I I gotta get a storage unit for these, but um probably not. I probably wouldn't. If it did if 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 it was all in one piece of course I would restore it, but even if it had the extra piece I probably wouldn't do anything. Because it's in such bad condition as it is and you can't install it when it's broken, so this tank fill just forever to fill up because it's fluid master. Fluid masters I don't like them in general because of the the design of them is super restrictive. Uh, compared to a ball cock, ball cock's like up and down, and there's a valve in the middle. Uh, these is basically up through the center and over, so there's only like maybe a two eight, maybe three eighths of an inch, two eighths or three eighths of an inch gap on the outside, and there's only maybe like a two or three eighths of an inch gap going up through the valve to go up to the seat on the top. So it's not a very effective design. Uh, the tank's almost full. I'm gonna hold it so it overfills. I might say the flush valve too, but I doubt it. This is originally a Douglas style, so. It, this, this valve is also leaking like a sieve, even though it's not, um, it doesn't have the correct uh, valve, but, you know, it is still leaking. 
get this. It kind of reminds me of Universal Rundle over the Jets position. Let me just see. We also had those in our neighborhood. Um, when the neighborhood was built and the homes that um, I, when the part of the neighborhood I live in, the homes uh, use the Universal Rundle toilets originally. So here's the flush of this toilet, see how it does. Few seconds out at the bottom. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna go shut off the water because this toilet's about to tip over because of how unstable the base is. Almost tipped over when I flushed it. So yeah, that's about it for this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, make a request if you'd like a dissection on video on this toilet because this toilet's extremely rare and you'll probably never see another one. So um, just let me know and I will do a dissection video because I'm throwing this away tomorrow.